come check out my car tour. Um, over the past few months, I've done a few upgrades and I'd like to show what those are in an updated car tour. So let's go. All right, I guess we'll start with the left door and I have my recorder and my fan. This has been indispensable in the warmer weather. Um, I charge it while I'm driving and it just hooks onto the window here, which I can keep cracked. And it's got a couple buttons in the back. It's got a light, but it's also got like the on and off. All right, so I made this shelf thing I don't know if it's gonna last or not it's kind of hooked on the door too but I'm working on some sort of thing in that corner to put books I think it'd be really cool to have a bookshelf and I didn't want to spend any money while I was kind of testing it out so it's branches um, in this basket back here I keep crafts I like to do a lot of different kind of crafts there's also a deck of cards and just that's kind of like stuff to do when I don't have electronics and when I'm unplugged then, of course, my beloved strawberry plant. I clearly like strawberry shortcake. I like all things strawberry, and I have a strawberry plant. That's not a real plant, but it's gonna go hanging up there, but that strawberry and that flower are. And I put up this thing to hang some stuff. Oh yeah, and some lights. But yeah, so I have my different stuff hanging up there too. And my new teapot. All right, let's go around to the side. Oh, and I forgot that the shelf was like propped up there. So yeah, that I need to work on that. Anyway, take two. Um, I'm just opening this side. I almost never open this side, but I wanted to show that I can access pretty easily my dishes and my stove. That's kind of my kitchen stuff down there. Um, and that basket is full of my pots and pans, and then that gray box behind it is my stove, which I'll show later. So yeah, that's that side of the door. There's a book and a couple other things in there. Oh yeah, and then my cutting board stays back there to kind of even out my bed. I have a nice long piece of plywood, and so the cutting board kind of evens that all out, and I showed my mattress too. Okay, let's go around to the trunk. So in the trunk, you can kind of see the other end of the bed and how it goes there. It's very comfortable. I finally figured it out. On this side, it's kind of my hardware stuff and it's topped with the clean towels. I have cleaning supplies. I have hardware stuff and butane canisters I keep back there. Um, on the other side of the trunk, I have my shoes and my clothes. The front is clean clothes. The middle is dirty laundry and the back is stuff I hardly ever wear like winter stuff, including some nice winter lace-up boots. And then over here, I don't know what I'm thinking with this huge bag. I'd, there's no way I'd need that much perishable food, and it's like kind of... Anyway, there's the rest of my food, non-perishable, and also some weights, and I have my violin, and yeah. Okay, let's go into the back seat. This thing holds my toiletries. Um, it's, uh, I'm not done with it. I want to crochet a cover for it, but it's something I got pretty cheap and it's been actually really convenient. So, um, I have a knife there that I use for almost everything, scissors, spreading stuff, a nice smelly thing. This, um, is for watering the flowers and I found a place to put the saucer so it doesn't break. I don't know what I'm thinking having a porcelain saucer and teacup in my car, but um, it makes me happy and that I do use it and um, I found a way to not have it break. Anyway, um, the reason I like this thing is that it's got this wipe holder so it's really easy to pull the wipes out and they're like always there to wash off my face or if I need to wash my hands. Now the moment we've been waiting for, this is what I use if in the middle of the night I need to go pee. I have a bottle. And I have this thing, it's called a pee stylus. You can order it online. You just kind of like squat on it and point it into the bottle and pee. It felt a little weird at first. And honestly, I've only ever had to use it like twice, but it's definitely come in handy. 
and I've never used this, but if I really had to like go number two in the middle of the night, I could put a bag inside that bin, do my thing, clean up after whatever, tie up the bag and dispose of it. So that's for emergencies, but I've never had to use that, but it's good to know it's there. And I have my wipes again. Um, I have antibacterial wipes. I also have like face wipes, different kinds. Anyway, let's check out what's under the bed here because this is kind of where I can access. Maybe I should have done this in the other order and done like the kitchen stuff first and then the bathroom, but whatever. Um, okay, so behind the bed, I keep my... Uh, that's just something I'm trying to figure out how to attach to the ceiling. Yeah. Enough of that. Okay. Um... So these are my window covers and I have pretty dark tints on my car. So like if I'm just lounging during the day, I don't really use them. And once in a while, I don't even use them at night, but most of the time um, I'll put these up at night and uh, they're just Reflectix. They have black tape on the back and then a sheet that I cut up. Um, I got some spray adhesive and so I'm gonna secure them a little better, but that's what those are. This one's for the back windshield. It's got little Velcro bits on it, and I ordered like a wall decal, I think it is called, um, just to add a little nice scenery. I like swans, and I thought it'd be cool to like pretend like I was looking out a window or something. Anyway, that one goes, and so with those window covers, it's all pretty sealed up. And that back one, because of the angle it's at, um, got those velcro things to kind of secure it i found that the more plants i get the less i need the velcro because the plants kind of just prop it up but it's in there um yeah and then i have a curtain that i put behind the front seats so at night if there's like a street light or something shining in you can see the front seats and they're set up kind of just like a regular car um just for stealth purposes and then I have this curtain that I put behind the passenger and driver seat it's got black flannel on one side and then more of the sheet on the other side and I sewed velcro across the top and that just hangs up so it's really easy to put up and take down and sometimes I'll just put that one up without putting up all the other ones Okay, next behind the seat, I keep my green blanket. This item is really good. It's wool, it's like a wool blend. It's something I use all the time. Um, I spread out, I stretch on it, and it also acts as a pillow um, when, where I store it. Okay, this thing I've never used, but I don't wanna let go of it. Um, <laughs> I have visions of like floating in a lake all day. I've just never used it. Um, I do have like one of those inflator things that can hook up to my car. So I do plan on using it. It's like an additional lounge chair. Here's my stove. And I also keep dishes back there um, and a cutting board which I like to use to set my stove up. So let's pull that out. Um, I also want to point out this is where I can keep like four gallons of water. I only have one right now, but they fit really easily in there. That one just fell over. Here's my cutting surface table thing and the stove that I use. Oops. The stove that I use. I love this stove. I got it from REI and uh, yeah, it uses butane. I think it was like $45 and I can cook quite a few meals with one can of butane and I love cooking. So it's nice to have this option or I can just make tea. Super easy, convenient, portable. I love the stove. Okay, here I am showing how the cutting board is cool because I can also use it like a table. Um, I am pretending to write. I am acting this out for visual purposes. <laughs> but yeah, it's a nice table. I also was thinking of putting like a phone holder or an iPad holder up there. And I do have an iPad holder that I love. It angles things so that it can go, like the iPad can go right there. But for the summer I took it down to hang up plants and I'm doing more reading.
All right, let's go check out the passenger seat. This is pretty much how it always looks. I got my DoorDash bags there to keep handy and out of the way. And um, yeah, my bag, I have my bag and my backpack um, are kind of my, my go-to things, just easy to access. And they hold stuff that I use all the time. Like in my backpack, I keep gym clothes and a towel. And uh, yeah, I just like having those things readily accessible. And my water bottle, which I frequently fill up with water when I'm on the go. And yeah, that's a passenger seat. I'd like to get a little fridge. I've heard about an LED fridge that plugs in um, and it might stay on the floor up there, but it would be black. And so it'd blend in and be kind of stealthy. Anyway, more hand sanitizing wipes and my little battery pack that I charge up while I drive. Um, my co-pilot. Let's go in the driver's seat. Water utensils made out of bamboo um what am i doing what am i doing here all right we are going to speed this part up because it's kind of just like the front seat of a car which i guess is the whole point but anyway there's my phone holder use it all the time i have two to-go cu cups that i try to keep clean as possible and a bunch of quarters for laundry under there um i think i'm showing the utensils again and hair oil and whatever and then in here it's uh my wallet and keys a charger and my glasses and a bunch of other stuff i think rose hip oil nail clippers sunglasses just kind of stuff that i need on the go to grab and yeah if you made it all the way to the end of this video, hopefully you got something out of it and um, it must have been at least a little entertaining. So could you please consider hitting that like button and feel free to subscribe if you wanna see more. I'm constantly working on my car um, and going on different adventures and whatever. There's a lot more on my channel, but yeah, please consider subscribing, joining along, wishing everyone a safe and enjoyable journey.